Again, you already know what's going down. Me again, your homeboy, Chan Raphael, aka Raphael Lee, back with another video. Today, we're leaving Cebu City. This is our last day in Cebu. Uh, we've been here twice. Uh, the first time we land from the US to Cebu, and then we were in Pangasinan to my hometown. And now we're back to Cebu, and we're leaving Cebu for a last day in Cebu City. What can you say, Broby? <laughs> so it's the last day today. Last day. Last day. We're leaving around 2 p.m. and meet up with my sister who been in quarantine for I'm like 22, 26 days um, for some reason that I don't know. The crazy thing is that, um, yeah, he, she been in quarantine for five days and then after that, she got positive for the reason that we don't know because she's from Singapore and then in Singapore they have this required kit that they need to test themselves every time so the time she landed and then the first day in quarantine she self-test she's negative and then the day of the swab test I think after five days right after five days they need to swab test uh, the five the fifth day uh, before she got swab she um, self-test and she's negative and then they swab her seven hours after I don't know what the time result they said she's positive so I don't know and then after that uh, there's a lot of them from Singapore um, who had the same kit and then all of them are tested negative and then the government or whatever swab people from the Philippines uh, swab them and said that they're negative the crazy thing is under a 16 day of a 14 day of quarantine they were transferred to this facility that I don't know and then when they arrived there's like media waiting for them and then they said uh, and then they were told to go down the bus and they don't want to go down unless the media is not there and then the day after that I think or on that same day in the afternoon they said that there are 27 uh, OFW who are positive of COVID who just arrived or something like that but the truth of the matter is they didn't arrive that day they were already in quarantine for like two weeks but the media was saying that this 27 individual just arrived to the country and tested positive and that's not true it was they were already in the country for two weeks and um saying that they're positive which they're not the crazy thing about that fact though is that when they found out the very first day though like the fifth day they were uh found out that they were positive because of the swab test they requested to be re-swabbed mm -hmm. but they, do it. they won't do it uh the reason i think the the reason is that um they don't have permission authorization i think they they don't they 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 don't allow it i mean yeah i mean they were tested positive all of them are here because of a vacation and then that happened they're on a vacation supposedly and that happened and they won't allow it when they request to be reswab they don't want to reswab them not unless they have um permit or they have a permission or they have a what was this earlier they have a authorization, authorization. they have an authorization first so what I don't get it. Why do they why do they need an authorization to get reswab? They're not they're paying for it anyway. So it's like fucking making money. But anyway, guys, um we're leaving now. Uh, meeting up my with my mom and my sister in Manila International Airport. We'll be there in a while and keep you all posted. But before that, we're going to gas up the the car that we rented in full tank and then we're going to Ayala to buy my aunt's pearl and then see you later. Later. So we're here in the airport now, waiting for our flight to Manila. Crazy thing is, we thought that this flight has been canceled. <laughs> she said, they canceled that flight. And I'm like, what? <laughs> the the, the check-in people were saying that the flight was canceled. 
and we, she said she know that it was her schedule uh -huh. but he said no it was canceled then when they check it it wasn't it was, it was not canceled come on man <laughs> so we'll be flying at 2.30 2 2, 2.45 today we'll be in Manila around 2 3.45 or 4 or something like that meeting up with my sister and my mom and we'll see I think that Manila is on lockdown right now and I confirm it to my friend I think it's um there's part of Manila that's locked down today oh. part so it's kind of crazy so if Manila is locked down we can't go in there you know did you know that no yep if Manila is locked down we can't go in because it's locked down wow. so we're staying here but that's not gonna happen we're going home we need to go home <laughs> so we'll see y'all later <laughs> Boarding pass for me. Fuck okay, with this, bro. <laughs> so we are at the bottom of the plane. Very so bad. So it has like a 40. 40 seats. 40. No. Oh. 40, 40 line. 40 yeah. row, row, 40 row. Rows. 40 seats always so means it's a 40 no, pass. Yeah, no. So we have 40 rows. We're at the bottom, y'all. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a full flight. Let's check it out. So it's literally a full flight and we are at the bottom. So we're at the bottom right here. So I will be with three disaster people today. Her alone is already hard to handle. Whatever. I'm Very not disaster. Not even. Now it's heading one more. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And then another. <laughs> you know, I'm handling three old. Oh yes. Whatever. Three old ladies. <laughs> not even. <laughs> that shit is fucked up, bro. You're funny. So para ting hagarating na What time is it? Time check. It is 4:44. 4:44. Wala kalabas niya around 5 or 5:30. We'll be in Pangasinan probably, let's say 10, tops. We're going out right here, right now. We're in Bay 4. You tell them we're in Bay 4? Yes, sir, we're in Bay 4. Right here, y'all. Look at this. Look at all of this. Oh, sh Look at all this shit. Right here, right here. <laughs> They're ready for us, baby. See, I'm telling y'all, we haven't even seen them yet. It's a shred that disaster. They're already freaking going. I'm crazy. telling you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I think they're just way over there. Let's wait for them. Waiting, waiting. They're coming, baby. Here we go. She's waving. She's waving. I know. Like, she's waving over there. She's like Hi. it. She's like. I think they're there. Yep, they're there. So we're just waiting here. They need She's to like be parking. She's like out the car. <laughs> She's fucking ridiculous, right? She's crazy. Oldie, oldie, one, two, three, four, seven, eight. Sorry. Oh, fucking hell. I'm oh, sorry. Cha, 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 cha. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There they are. Yeah. You know, open the back door. Open the back door. Position, position, position. Hey, 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 hey. Hello, mommy. Hi, mom. Hello, kuya. Nice to see you again. So we just got here, guys. Kakarating lang namin dito sa sa car with my mother, my sister. Who? Yeah, finally, I'm home. You're nakakalaya lang. Ayaw kasama namin yung sister ko nakalaya na yeh. Hindi ka. Kakalaya nya lang po. Galing ano? Ah, uh, yung yung bagong 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 kulungan, <laughs> bagong bilibid. So yan na po. So this is for our. We just got here no, to, to the Manila. <laughs> yung naudlok niya ang bakasyon na dyan na ano ba sasabi mo say hi to the vlog yeah hi vlog this is it's so horrible vacation it uh, the most awaited vacation turns out into nightmare so that's it <laughs> ano mami what can you say mother <laughs> well, well finally a very good system of the OFW <laughs> <laughs> Filipinas style. <laughs> so it's a Philippine style, baby. 
Ayan. So we're just gonna keep you guys posted on our way to uh, San Carlos. Mga update update lang po dyan mga kaumboy, mga kahomie. Yes sir, baby! Bye! <laughs> Still not infected or anything. Yan na yung, really yung cousin kong isa siya kasi tita. Nasa hotel na. They just got here from Albuquerque. Mami, this vlog is going to be on the ano. It will be premiere on the 20. <laughs> because I have three I have three Already pending three, videos. Yeah, <laughs> I have two pending videos. So my cousin is Chakasitita is already just got here. Anong date ngayon? Uh, Eight six. six. And then they're quarantined for five days. But hindi siya mapapareha niyang isa dyan because they're not uh, OFW. They're like uh, immigrant they're really from the them. states. So what's gonna happen? They're gonna be there for quarantine for five days. Right, baby? Yes. For five days. But the thing here is the Pilipinas na kailangan yung intindihan is going home is actually a money making right now. Everything in the Philippines, if you have money, talks. Money talks. You know what I did the first day sa quarantine? I what did I tell them what I did. I get out of quarantine to buy a food. You snuck out. I said they're quarantine. Ang ginawa ay gutom na ako. Ano oras yon? Alas onse. Wala silang mabili. So what I did? I wear a cap. Tapos shirt. Lumabas ako. Tasabi ng guard sir, sangka sir. Ayan, bibili ako na anong room ka? So, yung sinabi kong room, yung room na walang upuan sa labas. Kasi yun yung hindi nagkakarantine. So, pinalabas ako. Bumili ako ng tatlong lichon manok. Bumalik ako ng room. Oh, di ba? That's it. <laughs> hungry. So, I bought like three. I bought three lichon manok. You know, like every time you ask someone, you're gonna give them a tip. Like that's why yep. a few of my dollars, it's already empty. Yep, 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 yep. So Puro I was like, I will need to think what are the things I need so that at least I can just give nice. one tip, right? Yeah, yeah. But like every time until I end up with twenty pesos, Damn, I go, so, so sorry, I'm really left with nothing. So I was like, it's okay, mom, it's okay. But you know, like yeah. I need to pay and give her. No, Jeez. no, the boy down there, you cannot. Hey, mommy, nagbigay din ako ng last second time. So, uh, tapos pagkatapos noon, di ganoon, di ba? Nakstikin na ta. I'm so scared the second time because they might I get oh, I might get caught. Time, no! no, I'm supposed to do it sec twice, but I'm scared because I might get caught. Baka extend kami. Oh, yeah. Sabi ko, sige. Ang ginawa ko na lang, nag-bribe na raw ulit ako ng boy, yung bellboy. I bribed the bellboy again. So I give they said Hindi daw talaga pwede. Tapos I showed them 200 pesos. And then her, his face changed. So I know oh his guy. His, his gonna take it. Sabi, Kuya, pwede ba akong ano? Pabili na lang. Sir, hindi talaga pwede, sir. Sabi niya, Kuya, Kuya, oh. sige na kasi gutom na ako, Kuya. Kuya, take the money. Kuya, 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 sabi ko, sabi ko, kuya. Oh, sabi ko, kuya. He, 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 hindi, hindi talaga pa. Kuya, kung magbigay kaya ako doon, tuwasan. Oh, bibili talaga. Kasi na, nalaman ko yun, sabi ko, nasa pili. Ay, I forgot I am in the Philippines. Everything here needs to be bribed by money. So what I did, the second day, what I did, sabi ko, kuya, pwede ba akong pabili ng ano? Sir, hindi talaga pwede, sir. Sige na, kuya, nakakagutom talaga. Tapos sabi niya, hindi talaga pwede, sir. Now, I showed the 200 pesos. Yung mukha niya nagbago. So after that, nung nabago na yung mukha niya, oh uh, sir, basta huwag niyo lang sabihin sir ha, oh wala problema. <laughs> so binigyan ko ng 500, tapos 200, kasi yung 500, that's the one where we're gonna buy food. Ta after after 20 minutes, ayun, dumating yung pagkain, binigyan ko yung 200, nag thank you sa akin, uh, di nakabili kami ng pagkain. Basta sa Pilipinas, it's all about money. That's, that's how it works. So pag mababash ako dito sa vlog na to, guys, secret lang natin yan, okay? <laughs> I'm just stating, I'm just telling the truth and how to do it here. Yeah, it, it's about bribing. It's about the bribe. I mean, it's crazy how you do things here, but that's how it works here, baby. Yeah, baby? So you're learning, right? I'm learning yes, a lot. Yes, sir. <laughs> so obedient, that's it. Siguro ano, depende sa pagsabi kasi yun. Kasi ako parang binabribe ko ta, sige na kuya, pwede naman oh, 200 oh, ganyan. Makakita lang ng 200, okay na. Sabihin mo pa, nakamotor ka ba? Pagasang ko yung motor mo. Ganun yun. <laughs> lang yan. So, tingnan mo pati si kuya, nag-agree sa akin oh, si kuya. Oh, yan oh, si kuya. <laughs> oh, totoo talaga yan. Pag nasa Pilipinas ka, that's how you do it. We are here, we are home, we are home. Kakal, we just arrived in our beautiful house. <laughs> Yes, sir, baby. Welcome Yay, home again. We're home. We're home. We're home. <laughs> kuya, thank you, Kuya. Ha? Thank you, thank you. Salamat po. 
so we're home we're home here we go here we go we're gonna unpack later on mag ano muna tayo let's eat Troy our house doggy Troy so we're here we just arrived time check it is 8.38 ayun yung tita kong maganda hello tita it's 8.48 say hi to the vlog hi vlog hello there but before anything else, that's the only thing we can do in this vlog today. Meeting up with my sister, my mom in the airport. My sister ko galing quarantine. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I can't, I need to say about this quarantine thing of what she experienced. What can you say? It's been a long day, baby. And sister ko, welcome home to the outside world. <laughs> yeah, oh my God, I'm so happy. I got evicted. <laughs> Nakalaya na rin siya after ilang days? 21 days? Uh, yeah. About 15 days? 15. Yeah, 15 days plus, oh, fif plus about 15 year. days. So yes, y'all! We're gonna talk about more of her quarantine experience and all that later on to our next vlog. But before anything else, I want to say thank you all for watching our videos. See you soon, guys. Hanggang sa susunod. Magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. Hasta mañana. Peace out, y'all. Hasta la proxima. Yes, sir.